Hey there, fellows. I'd imagine you immediately recognize this item. And the car, for that matter. It's from the video where we tried using suction to mount the wheels. That sort of worked, we had a lot of fun popping the wheels off. It was great. So we had a lot of people asking in the comments that we try using magnets for the same purpose. See how well they're able to keep the wheels attached. Now, we've experimented with magnets in the past, and we've still got them. These are what you'd call search magnets. By the way, if there's anybody out there who's into this sort of thing, hit us up in the comments. I'd love to watch some videos of people pulling stuff out using these. Anyway, these are very powerful. Now, I don't remember the specs off the top of my head, but I think the number was somewhere around like 800 kilos. Now, back when we experimented with them, I remember them doing something really peculiar. So, look, if I were to stick it onto the fender, pulling it back off is easy. See, no problem. My guess is that because the metal is so thin, the magnetic field isn't being fully realized, all 107% of it. But if we were to find a thicker material, <laughs> prying it off is going to be... I mean, I'm sure I can rip it off because... I'll do it later. The folded rag should have left a bit of a gap. I'd better not topple the column. We have actually done this before. Being unable to pry it off, we simply moved it to the corner and got it off from there. So they stick tight. And the reason I got this out is because the suction mounts were made out of some really thick metal. So here's what I suggest we do. We gotta grind this down while leaving a small rim to make sure the wheel stays centered. Yeah, let's use magnets to mount all four wheels and go do some testing, right? And if something were to go wrong, I have no idea how we're going to pull it apart. Yeah, we'll think of something. Let's do this. We've got a special merch offer for you, fellows, to brighten the mood in these turbulent times. Starting today, we'll be offering a mystery gift box. When purchasing the box, you're guaranteed to receive a certain selection of stuff from our shop, as well as the chance to win something big. You spend a fixed $30 price for the box, and you're guaranteed to receive a Garage 54 mug, a pair of socks, a sticker, an air freshener for your car, as well as a key fob. One out of ten buyers will be sent an expensive gift on top of that, which could be a cap, t-shirt, hoodie, or a document holder. So we'll be putting something expensive into one out of every ten boxes. If you'd like to support our channel and try your luck, there's going to be a link in the video description. Using magnets to mount wheels, will it work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Here's the situation, fellows. The mount is in position after we shortened it. I meant to say after we trimmed the edge. And the metal has plenty of thickness to it. It is way thicker than on the hoist column. So the magnet should stick very well. And we did the same exact thing on the wheel side. As in, we cut the rim. These bolts aren't poking out. And we had to go through a bunch of them to find ones that wouldn't stick out, in order for the magnet to be touching the entire surface. Okay, now the interesting part. And that's piecing this together somehow. These are some really powerful magnets. And if you were to, say, stick your finger between the magnet and the spacer, you're gonna have a pretty bad day. Because it'll be pulled to the metal with quite a bit of force. Man, I can't remember 
It was either 600 or 800 kilos. That's how much you can lift using this magnet. Seriously though, if any of you throw these into rivers, hit us up, tell us if you ever had it stuck, and how on earth were you able to get it out? Right, moving along. To the interesting stuff. Now we need to assemble this somehow. We doing this? Okay, we've got the wheels on there, and they're on. We actually took turns trying to yank this off. Some of the guys got a bit too cocky, thought that they'd get it off with ease, but nobody was able to. Now we decided we won't be bolting the magnets down on this end, because it is high time to start the testing. Right now both halves are being held on with just magnetic force. That's the only thing holding the wheels on. Albeit we did weld a few tabs on, just like we did last time. On one hand it's to make sure the brakes do their thing, and so that the car can actually move on the other. We definitely don't want the magnets to spin in there. The tabs are gonna prevent them from doing that. All right, well, it's time to start the car and head out. So I've already driven a couple of meters. Let's see where this goes. Come on now. Taking it slowly for the time being. Since these are still unproven, we have no idea how they're going to behave. And we're off. This isn't as unnerving as I expected it to be. Because initially I was assuming they wouldn't be able to hold on, period. But once I stuck a magnet to the column of the lift, I realized that they're very powerful. The wheels are being held on real tight. The magnets are doing a great job. Now I'm out here to see how they do over the ruts and potholes and so forth on this less than ideal road. I definitely need to take it easy for now. No need to be in a rush. If they're still holding on, then we must have done well here. They're clinging very well indeed. Even when the wheels are at this sort of angle, I'm at full lock, and I can hear some rubbing with the welded rear diff. 
Still, the wheels are on the car. <laughs> we have an emergency. Something fell off after all. We have an emergency. Something fell off after all. They have evacuated. Two of them at once. All four. All four for real? Seriously? All four have fallen off. Wow, can you imagine? I mean, those are... Some powerful magnets. Yet the wheels have still... This all seems to be intact. That's a good thing. For whatever reason, the magnets are all stuck to the hubs. So it was the halves of the spacers that were on the wheels that separated. We wanted to bolt them to the magnets, but decided not to. What about this side? It's the same story. Look at that. The metal here is quite thick. Like at least 10 millimeters, or maybe even 12. So in theory, there should have been a super solid connection. But in practice, well... What about this one? Same thing as with the other ones. Why so? I'm guessing those halves are thicker or way more and the magnets prefer to stick to them. In any case, we gotta get the car back onto its wheels and continue the testing. So during the course of the experiment, we lost a few wheels. They rolled away, and one of them we didn't catch on time, resulting in this car sustaining a bit of damage. Come on in here, owner! No use hiding! <laughs> Hopefully you're not too upset. It's fine. You won't beat us with a stick, will you? We can fix it. After all, we do have a detailing department. Come on in here, dude. Oh, you're wearing gloves. I'm assuming you're ready to get to work? Prepared for battle. We gotta... and make it... just like that. Clean the floor mats, remove any rust. You know the drill. All inclusive. Materialize a set of summer tires. Wouldn't that be awesome? Hey, these things happen sometimes. Okay, now there's the matter of putting the wheels back on. And we are gonna bolt the magnets down this time. Yeah, let's see how well they cling to the hubs. Alright, let's carry on. All right, we've carefully assembled everything, the wheels are in place, and now the testing continues. I can hear rubbing and squeaky noises, but the wheels are still on. It's pretty amazing that all four wheels... That's it, we're done. I thought it was still on its wheels. But the car is bottomed out. Holy cow. That didn't take long. The drums dig pretty well, don't they? What about this one? Still on. Oh, the magnets separated from the hub? What? Oh yeah, right. It's literally right there. Careful not to cut your finger. Oh man, is it broken? Yes, it is. That might be why it fell off. Yeah, definitely. You can still drive with the welded diff. Yeah, I realize that. 
It appears that the tabs we welded on have been sheared off. We had a couple of tiny tabs on there. They broke off, we spun the magnet, and the wheel evacuated. Eh, whatever. Why don't we put it back on? And since we are running a welded diff, the car will continue to move. Come on, chop chop. The wheel is back on. Let's continue on our way. And though we are running a welded diff, there's only gonna be one wheel propelling the car. Eh, no worries. Now, in theory, the wheel that's just being held by the magnet might start to spin in the turns. And if the magnet does start to spin, we run the risk of losing the wheel. Which would suck. No, we actually seem to be doing fine. We good. What a lovely road we've chosen. The groove isn't as bad as it was even just a week ago. The surface has dried out. I mean... Well, yeah, it dried out. Some of the holes are knee-deep, wow. All right, now we can relax. As we've gotten to a road that's almost like an autobahn, where the holes are merely ankle-deep. That's nothing. And now we drive uphill. I deliberately drove over that edge. And none of the wheels even fell off. Isn't that nice? I can probably even turn the engine off. There we go. A bit of engine braking. Very nice. And we made it back. That wasn't a walk in the park, but we made it. Okay, fellas, we've made it back. And the wheels stayed on the car for the rest of the way. So where does this leave us? These are some pretty powerful magnets, I mean... They're able to lift 800 kilos. And that is a lot. You'd think that the wheels would stay on. But the tires have a lot of grip in this warm weather. Plus the car weighs a lot, so no surprise they were falling off. You know, I even feel as if... The vacuum suction mounts were better at keeping them on. With how long I was doing donuts without them coming off. But here it didn't take much at all. Even at low speed... All it took was the slightest bit of pressure. Two of the wheels, as you saw, stayed next to the car, while the other two made a run for it. Must have been fed up with all of the experiments. We were able to catch one of them, but the other one slammed into a parked car. But hey, all's well that ends well. Okay, so a bunch of people requested we try this, and we did. You saw what they're worth, how well they were able to secure the wheels, and that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.